Hi guys. Um, Little Beach Panda here. Amanda, aka Chef Panda. You know, whatever my many names you want to call me. Um, it's late, and I am about to make <laughs> a rotel in my crock pot. Okay, it's 7:32. I'm making the sausage right now. You can buy whatever kind of sausage you like. Okay. I got um, Jimmy Dean's mild. That's all they had. I would have got spicier, but so now I'm making it right here right now so if you guys want to make some good rotel with me stay tuned okay stay tuned see my sausage real quick oh yeah i need to turn this oven down turn the oven down turn the oven down but okay guys i will be back okay guys hi i'm back so this recipe calls for eight um ounces of sausage even though I'm using I think 12 because I'm just I just fried up the whole tube so and I have it degreased and it's in this bowl right here okay so it's right here we got that to the side so and it also calls for um eight ounces of Velveeta but well my Velveeta comes in 16 ounces so I'm going to use half of it and put it in there and then see about maybe putting the other half in because since I did use the extra sausage, you know, but you want to take your Velveetas and you want to cut them into little pieces. Don't worry, my hands has been washed, mother. Okay. So then I got a bowl right here, you know, we're just going to put the little Velveetas in here. And yeah, so after that, it calls for one thing a rotel I used hot because my sausage is mild <laughs> and so I'll put that to the side and then it also calls for one eight ounce block of um, Philadelphia cream cheese okay and this is gonna all be thrown in the crock pot and cooked on high for two hours and just stirred you know what I mean throughout it to randomly check on it and I've never made rotel with cream cheese or in a crock pot I've made Rotel a mil million other times. I'm having issues here. A million other times, but just um, always, you know, on the stove. Okay. How um, is y'all's favorite way to make Rotel? Comment below and let me know, okay? Uh, yeah, so today is the 8th day of February, 2021. It is um, a Monday. You know what I mean? So... I'm just gonna make some rotel, like I said, and I'm gonna air fry some chicken wings. I might bring y'all back for that, I might not. No, don't know though. I got my chips here though. We're scoop people. Scoops. So that's gonna be the chips that we're gonna use. But I got my block of cream cheese here. And see, I don't know if y'all can see, I got my cute Chef Panda cutting board. And these knives, they were holiday presents from Al, my friend and neighbor. So we have to cut this cream cheese up. So we're gonna do that, which I know this is a little bit more messier than the Velveeta. And y'all can't see me cutting down here, but just know that I'm down here cutting. Cut up. In fact, let me get a bowl for that too. We get one of these bowls for the cream cheese. And we'll just put a block at a time. There, like so y'all can see it. Maybe they can't see me cutting it. Y'all can see the cream cheese. Yeah, I don't know if I should cut that in half again, but it's okay. So, yeah, and it's actually pretty late. It's 8 p.m., so I'm going to be eating late tonight. But, you know, it is what it is. Actually, I'm not even going to cut this in half. And then, maybe cut that one in half. And then that in half like that. Small Valentine nails. Now, if you're in Springfield, Missouri, go to True Beauty Nail Salon. Don't go anywhere else. I don't know what people are thinking about. I've been going there for like 10 years now, over 10 years. Michael, the master, make your appointment. Don't play around. Okay. I'm washing all this stuff out of my fingernails right now. Yeah. Okay. Throw all that away. Okay. Now, let me check out this recipe and then I will be back, guys. 
Y'all like my gear? Queso is kind of like a, hey, you know what? Wait, that's probably guacamole right there. It's the avocado and that's the chip. Thank you. I got it at the pier park somewhere. I don't remember though. Got to get my munchies together. So, over here, well, you know what? I'll be back. I'm going to turn y'all around. I put it on high for, but I'm going to time it. It says, put the sausage in. So we're putting the sausage in. I'm going to put the bowl out here. I mean, a stir, a big spoon. So what we're going to use, you know, kind of cover it out like that. Then we're going to, I think I'm going to put the rotel next. Oops, I can't. got to make sure I'm aiming y'all good. I kind of stir that a little bit, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I'm aiming, I'm aiming y'all good. Put the cream cheese in there. And then put the Velveeta in there. Go in there. And then see, I'm going to do that. And then, I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm going to close it. Coming up. And I'm going to come back in 30 minutes. I'm going to check the timer on my thing. And if I need to, throughout the process, I might add the other cheese I have right here. And I might not, depending on how cheesy it is. Okay? But as you see, Chef Panda here. I'll be back. Okay, guys. It's been 30 minutes. Oh, the flashlights. Come on. We're going to see what's going on in here. Okay. I'm going to switch hands real quick because I'm right-handed. <laughs> Don't judge me. But we're going to stir a little bit more. And I think I will end up adding that other Velveeta. Just because, you know, I'm oh, sorry, guys. I never am good at Let's see. We'll see. I might add half of it. How about the half of it? Just to make it a little bit more cheesier since there's more meat than anticipated. So, I'm going to go over here and grab probably about two, two, three more slices of cheese. And we'll, just like that, cubes. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm bad at looking and, and aiming. But we're gonna do that, and like I said, that's 30 minutes down of our two hours. So I'm gonna put this, close this lid, and check it again in 30 more minutes. Okay, over here, we've got our air fryer going. One minute left on that. Went ahead and made my boyfriend a few chicken wings. A snack. Um, we like them crispy, so right now I'm doing nine minutes on each side. Oops, there's the gray goose. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're going to have a mini mug bank in the middle of the Rotel video. So I air fried some chicken wings. Okay, check this out. There was um, uh, chicken seasoning on them. Like some like seasoned stuff I got from the Dollar General. And then some lemon pepper and, wait, no lemon pepper, just joking. Garlic, onion, and some pepper. And then so I just air fried them for... Probably about 10 to 15 minutes on each side. Then, I personally, my boyfriend put hot sauce. I'm using barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna take it and squirt, 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 squirt all over my wings. And the counter. It's okay though. That happens. So we're going to take our thingy and we're just going to toss our wings. Can't see real well. Toss our wings in the barbecue sauce. It's dark and y'all can't see real well, but yeah. So this is kind of what they look like now. Can you see that wing? Mm -hmm. What, baby? But yeah, so then I'm gonna take these wings. Oh, you're talking to the dog? And put my wings right here on my plate. 
Yeah. Put that in the sink, run some hot water on it. Because I like to do my dishes as I go. So, you know. Yeah. Less mess later. Okay. So, guys. We have my barbecue wings. And flats are my favorite. I always want a flat. I'm not a drummy. I'll eat the drummies, but flats are my favorite. Like, if I go out to the restaurant, I'm going to order all flat. I usually get a teriyaki or something sweet. But if I go to Wingstop... I get a mild wing, always mild at wing stop. But <clears throat> if I want a different one, I'd usually go to Buffalo Wild Wings and then I would get um, Asian Zing at Buffalo Wild Wings. That's a really good one. But I like lemon pepper, I'll eat the Hawaiian. I made the mistake of trying the mango habanero when I was in Missouri last week and oh my God, I couldn't even finish one wing. I wasted four wing stop chicken wings that I can only get when I'm in Missouri. I can't get them here. So I was very upset. But I'm going to go ahead and put some more juice in my cup before I start my, my miniature mug bank. Did you grab that last beer out of there? Mm-hmm. You don't mind. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Okay. You're going to. I'm not quite sure. I know there's a way. You like take a wing, you like, and you like rip the whole thing off, but uh-uh, I don't. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 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 Mm-mm-mm. Ma'am. -mm -mm. I'm telling y'all. Oh, it's good, it's good. Mm-hmm. How are your wings, babe? Mm-hmm. He can't even talk for so good. He just went... Went up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Another one. Can y'all see that good flavor on there? You can see the good flavor underneath the sauce and you can see the good sauce. Yeah, if you look real close, you can see the good air fried baked goodness under the sauce. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And see, I like a um a good thoroughly cooked wing. I like crispy. I don't want soggy. No soggy. Uh 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 uh. Mm -mm. See, I fr I air fry these so crispy. Clearly, you see like they're just falling off the wing, falling off the bone. The wing is the meat is. Look at that. Comes right. I heard T.I.'s voice. I was like. But yeah. Look at that. Just like that. I have these nice delicious pieces of chicken. Check that out. Mmm. Mmm. So good. How do y'all like to eat your chicken wings? Comment below. And let me know. Make sure you like this video. And make sure you share it. And if you're not subscribed to me, then what are you doing? Subscribe. <laughs> Stop it, YouTube. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Down. Okay. 
I can't go down in on my YouTube video. I can't tell if I have barbecue sauce in my mouth or not, but here we go, guys. The third wing. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Take it easy, baby. Make this wing last all night. Mm. 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 Oh my god. I'm telling y'all. You have to savor your food. You gotta savor each bite. Okay? Like, you don't just oh, 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 eat oh, to eat. Like, eat to, especially when you eat unhealthy shit. <laughs> Make there be a point of you eating the unhealthy shit. Like, savor each bite. Mmm. I think I'm gonna start doing more mukbangs. Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is just so good. So good. Mm, so fucking good. Okay, last and final wing. I would have one more, but I was nice and gave Al one. I'm just joking. Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I'm a five year. Which he likes drums, so it makes it perfect whenever we get a pack. Yeah. Because there's you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Class. Drink some water, y'all. Yeah. Had enough alcohol um the last um weekend and I'm actually I'm detoxing for a little while. That means I'm not gonna drink anything for a while. And I have some juice right here too. Oh, Y'all saw me pour that earlier, but okay, this is like my last bite. Mmm. 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 Shit's so good. And I just want to say, I just want to thank this little chicken for dying for me. Or however many chickens those were. <laughs> for me to have their wings. Moment of silence for the little chicken. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Okay, guys. That was delicious. I'm going to be back here in a few minutes to give you the hour update on the oh Rotel. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, it's been like an hour. So let's check it out here. Yes, okay, so I'm seeing the burnage right there. So I'm wondering what makes it need to be cooked any more than it is when it looks this way. It looks good. What do y'all think? I need a taste tester. Al, would you like to be the taste tester? Sure. Okay. We're going to get some of these chips right here. First of all, hold on guys, we'll be right back. Okay, turn it around so you can watch. Okay, so I scooped him a little bit out here. And if you need to blow on it or whatever you need to do, Remember, it might be hot. It's gonna be hot. Not even the view of people, but really. It's good. Is it good? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, you heard it from Al. 
Baby, would you like a sample? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna get my boyfriend a sample. to bring him that many chips but we're gonna come over here oh my sorry. god my toe sorry, sorry. it's okay okay baby here's a few chips for your hand <laughs> it's dark over here guys sorry my boyfriend okay he's gonna try some <laughs> he's like just give it to me and we'll see what he says i got my cat sitting here another cat right here fat fat guy so what do you think? Huh? Was it good? We'll see. Okay. Well, I'm going to try it too in one second. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I got my plate of chips here. I'm going to go ahead and take my hotel, pour it on top of my plate of chips like so. Can you see? And we'll see how it is. Now, keep in mind, I haven't tasted it yet. Al thinks it's good. My boyfriend doesn't care for it. So, we'll see. I mean, it's like my normal hotel. It just has cream cheese in it. With the Velveeta and the sausage. Okay. Give me some else. A fork. Spoon. Okay. So, close that back up. We got it on warm now. Let me come over here. Let's see what's up back into my, my spot where I'm sitting at. Mm, okay, let be all done. As you can see, I got the plate of nachos. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's not all that, but it's not nasty. It's definitely not quite like my Christos nachos, and that's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> Trying a different route to that, you know what I mean? But still good. Yeah. I mean, it's your tail. So, yeah. So, something I found different, so, you don't need to do it for two hours. You can do it for like an hour. What? Oh, is it better now? Or what did you do? Oh, did you add picante sauce to it? Or oh, he? My boyfriend just added some hot picante sauce to it. So, that did it for him. But, but I, I don't like spicy, spicy. I don't want to particularly die. And I can't. Earlier, I was eating that stuff, just the picante and the chip, and dude, it had my tongue burning. Is that shit in here? I'm going to show y'all. Paste hot. Okay? What? He said put a little bit in there, but good. Right, he said just put a little bit in there, and it's good. But, yeah. You want some hot sauce? That's it. But, okay guys, so, like I said, it was... Philadelphia cream cheese, Velveeta, sausage, and then a can of Rotel. All for about an hour on high in the crock pot, stirring every 30 minutes, okay? It's good. My boyfriend says if you want to add some hot picante sauce, you can add a little bit in there too. They'll spice it up, which you'd probably like that too, Al, because you do like spicy things. So mm -hmm. you probably like to spice it up. I do. But this bitch doesn't like to spice it up. <laughs> I don't want to die. I want to enjoy my food and not be in pain the whole time, you know. <laughs> I just can't do it. But at the end of this video is going to be a picture of the ingredients. You know what I mean? The ones I already told you. So you can screenshot if you want. Um, and yeah, I hope that everybody enjoys the crock pot nachos as much as I am about to. Okay. Um, goodbye. Good night. Peace out. Love everybody. Be nice. Follow, subscribe, comment below, and like. Deuces. West side. One more thing, guys. 
I need you to hit that bell. Hit it up there. So then when I make a video, y'all will get a notification. And you can automatically just see me. You know what I mean? And see my funny video. And, and you know what I mean? Like the funniest person that I am. Okay. Deuces again.